Hi guys, this is Jason and I'm here with the unboxing of something special. It's the CAT S61 smartphone and it's basically a handset for the apocalypse. It can withstand a lot of rough conditions. It can measure the quality of the air around you. It's got a special thermal scanner and it's priced well pretty high. $1050. You're also getting a special laser distance measuring, a temperature sensor and more. In case the brand CAT sounds familiar it's because it's related to Caterpillar, you know, those making uh, power tools, um, powerful equipment for moving items around like uh, packages, also excavators and uh, shoes, mountain shoes. So here we go, this is the CAT S61, it debuted a couple of months ago, it's a very rugged phone, you can basically drop it for about, uh, from about 1.8 meters in height and it will be alive. Totally rugged, pretty massive, but also spec'd reasonably, usually rugged phone are spec'd in an entry level area, this one is actually pretty interesting mid-ranger. Now, uh, before we talk about everything, you can see here we got a special FLIR sensor, this is actually a special thermal imaging camera it can uh, locate heat sources up to 400 degrees celsius and even in the darkness so that's kind of cool to be honest okay now it's an unboxing so let's see what's inside the box we got the warranty here once again $1050 which is probably the price a company is going to pay and use this for a bunch of employees this is the charger that we're getting in the box no trace of headphones and there's also an USB type C to full USB cable and that's pretty much it as well as two very useful um, leaflets one for the limited warranty and one for the quick start which is actually something you need to read because not everyone is accustomed to a special thermal scanner a distance measuring equipment and so forth so cat s61 uh, if I'm not mistaken, this may well be one of the first, if not the first, rugged phone we're playing with here at gsndom.com. So, let's uh, fire it up, press the power button. It's powered by Android, of course, it runs on Android Oreo, and it comes with the following thing. So, first of all, it's massive and well built. I feel some metal, I feel some rubber at the back side, and the slots are protected by this lid here. Let's see what else. It weighs 250 grams, it measures 13 millimeters in thickness, and uh, it's got military specs. It can take on uh, sand, salt, humidity, of course water, and of course uh, a lot of other things like drops on concrete. If you're wondering about the specs, it has a 4500 mAh battery, which is supposed to offer you up to 37 days of standby usage. Here you are seeing a 5.2 inch Full HD screen, which can support input even if you have a wet hand or a glove on. It also has Gorilla Glass 5 protection and uh, you can find an 8 megapixel camera at the front plus a 16 megapixel camera at the back with a dual tone LED flash. There's Bluetooth 5.0, there's also an audio jack, we got uh, NFC, Wi-Fi A, B, G, N, A, C, USB Type-C port, dual SIM slots, GPS and GLONASS, and finally a Qualcomm Snapdragon 630 CPU, accompanied by 4GB of RAM, 64GB of storage, and also there's a microSD card slot in there, plus FM radio is part of the package. Now we're running on Android Audio, and it even has the promise of Android P at some point in the future. Okay, so I see here's the pre-installed Google Apps, and I see here the measuring tool, so... Uh, you can take pictures and record video. This is basically like the recently launched measuring app on the iOS 12. Okay, tutorial, a lot of stuff to learn, go back. And it actually, you can see there's a small pointer here. Okay. Input calibration. Uh, measure the distance, place it against a flat table. Oh, so first you place it on a flat surface. So, uh, on the edge of a flat surface. So the camera and laser have a clean view of the floor. Or you can use a wall. So I'm going to go ahead and use a wall. 
then you have to measure the distance between the back underside of the phone and the floor using a tape and then input the measurement below whoa so things can get a bit complicated first so uh, that's the setup you're going to have to perform i'm going to do that a bit later because calibration is actually important when we're starting things so that's only one of the features it can also measure the air pollutants so it can tell you if there are uh, dangerous chemicals in the air around me it shows me the humidity the time of day and what kind of substances are in the air nearby uh, we got the concentration the sensor is starting so if you just painted the house if there are special uh, volatile substances oh my god unhealthy air quality detected hmm interesting i actually did not know that about uh, the house i'm in so we're learning stuff hopefully is nothing serious at least we can tell the temperature and humidity here you can see unhealthy poor moderate or good and uh, i'm going to have to look into it because now i'm really curious about what substances are floating in the air so uh, you can see here the units each of them explained use only if unavoidable and then for short periods only with intensified ventilation that's unhealthy then you got poor moderate and good plus of course excellent okay so i'm really concerned now i'm going to have to investigate that you also have the app tool area the app toolbox with a variety of features to try out keep in mind this is not a phone for everyone it's a productivity phone it's for um, oil rigs I would say for people who work with chemicals, for people who paint houses, for people who restore houses and museums, for people who actually work with dangerous substances, high temperatures, like a steel mill and all that. It can detect up to 400 degrees Celsius and measure stuff around you. So it's for architects, engineers, people working with the drills, fracking and so forth. And my flare is probably the most interesting one because it measures temperatures around you okay probably the best asset of the phone so it's showing me temperature of objects and surrounding areas i'm curious about well uh, my hand as you can see is warmer than the box obviously and as you can see i left some uh, heat prints which is kind of cool and then comes the hand again and uh, now you can see that uh, this box did not have any heat prints, but now it has. So that's kind of cool. I'm going to play with this a lot. I'm probably going to run over the phone with the car. I've heard it can withstand that. And once again, it's a productivity tool. It's not made to be played with. It's the CAT S61. And it's going to be unboxed here at jsnon.com. We'll be back with a full review pretty soon. Bye-bye.